early evening, a uh, really hot early evening actually, um, absolutely baking today, especially up in this loft space. Um, I thought I'd do something similar to what I did um, the last time I did a, a show, and I would vlog this experience of doing the first effects expo. Obviously the difference being here is that this is my show, not, not someone else's show that I'm just exhibiting at. So there's an awful lot to do. Uh, we're leaving tomorrow. We can't we don't have access to the venue until Sunday morning, but we're gonna take a drive up tomorrow and have a walk around Birmingham, because that's the nearest city to where the, the venue is. Have a bit of time there. But yeah, I haven't even started packing yet. So there's loads of pedals that are stock that I wanna take with me. There's obviously not just stuff for my stand, but lanyards, banners, signage, all that kind of rubbish that I've got to take. Uh, food and drink that we're giving to the exhibitors, all that kind of stuff that we've got to take. So it's really going to be quite a uh, packed car. I'm not sure whose car we're going to take yet. It might need to be mine, but mine's mine's still dirty. So I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. There's an awful lot to do. I'm, I'm nervous still that it's going to be like one of those things where people don't turn up. Um, I've never organised an event before, but I thought you guys might want to see kind of what's going into these last minute bits of preparation behind a show that I've been trying to do for almost three years. We're packing up the pedals, but Maisie doesn't want to be in the video. So I'm not going to show you her. But yeah, this is where we are. Oh. more bits to go, then we're ready to go. It is Sunday morning, it is uh, quarter to six. Um, we didn't really do much yesterday, so there's not really much to film. We got to Birmingham five o'clock-ish, went to a couple of shops, picked up a couple of bits, and then came back to the hotel. It was raining really bad and really cloudy, so, um, which is weird, because Friday was really hot, and it looks like today is gonna be pretty hot as well, but yesterday was pretty miserable, um, so we couldn't really do anything, so. We just came back to the hotel, got some food, um, but yeah, ready to go now, just packing everything up, just getting ready to go, and then, yeah, make our way over to to the, to the place. I'm not sure if there's anywhere we can stop on the way and get coffee or whatever, but um, yeah, it's looking good, We've got an hour or so, but the, the venue's only 20 minutes away, so we'll, um, we'll make our way over there as, um, as quick as we can, just to make sure we're definitely there for seven o'clock when the guy comes to open it. going on the coffee run um, Maisie doesn't drink coffee so it's not really a coffee run for her it's more more for me but I'm sure there'll be something there I can get her um, what else yeah she's, she's in the middle of doing um, makeup and stuff so I figured I'd go rather than try and leave it to the last minute and get something then we're on our way out so it's only a mile away so I'm just gonna go and grab something and then hopefully when I'm back she'll be ready Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Here we are. Right. It's empty. It's lovely. Nice big room. Um, hoping we can open these windows at some point because. Yeah, lovely little space. I'm hoping we can get everyone in this room. There she is again. <laughs> um, yeah, really, really cool space. Love it. Um, there's some really nice space downstairs as well. I'll get some shots of that in a second. Uh, getting set up. There they are, Stuart and Tate. Getting there. There's been a slight change of plan. We were originally going to have everyone around the edge and then an island in the middle, but um, I'm worried about power because there's not that many plug sockets. And I don't want to trip the power because we are fucked if that happens. So I've moved, we have the whole building. So this was my original plan actually. We've just reverted back to it. I was being optimistic that I could get everyone in one space. So everyone that was in that island originally, moved them down to this bit, which is nice because this is where the entrance is. So you come in through here, People will pay their tickets. They can have a little walk through here. It's the little guided tour. Let's go around. Eight tables down here. Eight exhibitors. Fire exit. Um, the Yarrington room. I don't know what that is. It's locked anyway. Um, There's a little kitchen area. Lovely little space. Um, I think some people have got their kids coming with them, so I think we're going to tuck some people away in here, like little kids can sit there and play with their toys. But yeah, lovely, lovely day for it. You see out there, a little bit of the canal. Let's have a look this way. Lovely, all those canal boats, very British, very English. Old boy walk along there. Lovely. Coffee bar. Yeah, I'm I'm really impressed actually. It's, it's been a while since I've seen this place, so I'm not just to lose. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen this place, but um, yeah, now that I can see it all coming together, it looks, it looks great. So to be honest, I kind of forgot to record a lot of stuff um, and I didn't get a chance to wrap up at the show with everyone because 
once the show finished, we just had to like pack up and get out as soon as we could. And to be honest, the people that were that came to like shut up at the uh, the venue were they turned up at like ten to five and they were like pretty on it about like getting us out. So it's even though I had the place till seven, so it's not a big deal. I get it. They want to go home. It's fine. Doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with how it went for for a first go and for people taking a chance on us i'm i'm super happy with how it went um it was one of those things where even though it was like a relatively small number of people that kind of that attended the event and came in with something like this it's you know all those people are there specifically for pedals so it's a, like a small but very like focused audience so you, you i would have, i basically spoke to the same number of people yesterday that i would have spoken to at a big show you know like a big guitar show because obviously you might get more people at a big guitar show but you know the vast majority of those people are there for guitars or for amps so a lot of them just walk past the pedal stand whereas with this like everyone that came was stopping at every stand and spoke to everyone individually so it was like a really focused audience which is which is really nice so yeah i'm i'm super happy with with how it went and i'm hoping that, um, that everyone else is, that all the exhibitors were. I, I got really good feedback, so, and yeah, so hopefully we'll, we'll do some more next year. Maybe I'll move it around. We'll do maybe one in the south, one up north, we'll see. Um, t time will tell if I have the energy to organize another one, but I, 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 think, I think I want to, and I think people were enthusiastic to do it again. So yeah, we'll try and, we'll try and do another one, but thank you for watching. Um, I'll, put links to as many people that attended um, as I can in the description and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.